This coffee here is dead. It does nothing for you health-wise. In fact, it may be harmful to you. This cup here is the most antioxidant-rich beverage on the planet. The crazy thing is, they're both the same cup of coffee, but there's an asterisk. According to numerous published studies, I put a link to many of them in the description down below. Besides powerful antioxidants, coffee contains polyphenols, and studies have shown that polyphenols in coffee may prevent a number of conditions, including heart disease, cancer, and type 2 diabetes, as long as you don't do this. But here comes the asterisk, actually three of them. One, the older your coffee is and the greater exposure it has to air, the less antioxidants it has. I'm not talking months old, I'm talking days old. And the optimal shelf life for coffee, seven to 10 days after it's been roasted for both health benefits and flavor benefits. Some of the coffee on the shelf in supermarkets may be there for years, and if they're not vacuum sealed, there are hardly any polyphenols in them, and most of the antioxidants are converted to unhealthy free radicals. If you drink coffee, drinking fresh coffee is an easy switch, and one that really isn't terribly expensive. There are many coffee roasters online that will ship you fresh coffee each week, and there are many coffee shops that sell their own freshly roasted beans, probably in your neighborhood. A couple things to look for when you're buying coffee is that there's an actual roast date on the bag. Typically, you wanna start drinking your coffee three days after that roast date. Coffee, especially light to medium roasts, takes three days to go through a process known as degassing. And the flavors develop during that three day period as CO2 that is built up in the bean during roasting escapes. And when buying organic coffee, which you should, don't think organic coffee is perfect. It's an excellent start. But if you really want an excellent organic coffee, buy coffee that specifically tells you which exact coffee plantation the bean come from. Sometimes cooperative coffee growers pool their resources together and cut corners in order to overcome the large expense of organic certification. Asterix 2. Don't buy your coffee pre-ground. The greater the surface area of the coffee, the greater the exposure to air, the less effective the polyphenols. Fresh ground coffee also tastes significantly better. You should store your coffee in a vacuum sealed container either way with the least amount of exposure to air, light, and heat. But if you have to purchase your coffee ground, it's pretty much a necessity to store it in a vacuum sealed container. And don't store your coffee in the refrigerator or freezer, just in a cool, dark place. Asterix 3. Does a darker roast destroy polyphenols and antioxidants? That's a complicated question. Studies have shown that some medium to medium dark roasts actually generate antioxidants that are not found in lighter roasts. But dark roasts do destroy polyphenols. A European blend is a mix of two types of roasts. So if you can track down a fresh roast that is a blend of a lighter and darker roast together, bonus. Here are a few bonus myths that should be dispelled. You do not need to have a dark roast in order to make espresso. Making a good espresso can be made with a lighter roast. As a matter of fact, an espresso made with a medium or light medium roast may have some extraordinary nuances in the flavor. Give it a try. Does espresso have more caffeine than a regular brewed coffee? Ounce for ounce it does. It can have anywhere from 55 to 75 or so milligrams of caffeine per ounce or 25 milliliters while an eight ounce or 250 milliliter cup of coffee averages around 100 milligrams, or almost double the caffeine of a single shot of espresso. So in moderation, espresso might be a good way to cut down on your caffeine consumption. So why do people feel that espresso gives them a jolt? Most likely because you're consuming espresso faster than a normal cup of coffee. But why is it that some people feel jittery after they drink coffee? Believe it or not, if you're not drinking too much coffee, the jitters are actually coming from coffee that is infected with fungus. This type of fungus is usually found in cheap coffees. Finally, just because coffee is healthy for you doesn't mean you should drink more of it. If you can handle the caffeine, drinking a couple of cups a day or a couple of shots of espresso is fine. But what if you can't have caffeine? You're in luck. Organic decaffeinated coffee has the same health benefits as regular coffee. One other thing that can benefit your health is hitting that like button. It helps my channel grow and I can go on giving you great health tips. Cheers.